Hello everybody and welcome to another character showcase. It has been a long time since we've done one of these, but a new character came out that I just had to show off. And of course, it is the wonderful, the beautiful, the playable Henry, of course. This character just came out the other day. It is, of course, a poop and fly based character with apparently 320 synergies um, with a mix of most of the vanilla items as well as uh, items from multiple different mods. I've not really had a look at much more than that, but the character does also have a tainted version. So we're definitely going to play that as well. And if people really like this character, we can see about having it added to the regular series. But let's jump in and uh, play as the playable Henry, the beautiful. Um, why does this message come up every single time now? Anyways, um, let me just do this real quick to make sure everything's unlocked. But yeah, so we start with this item here, which I believe is a small chance to fire tears that turn enemies into poop. Um, of course, we do look goofy as all hell as little old Henry here. Um, and this is uh, by the same creator as the person that made the Boom character, the one that we've covered on this series before, quite a while ago now. As hey, there you go, we can't turn anything into poop there. Uh, as I've said, um, we haven't really touched this series in quite some time, but there hasn't really been too many characters that I've really wanted to showcase, but this is the first time. I know that this character does have a 0 0.8 damage multiplier. Ooh, we got a dip. Um, yeah, 0 0.8 times damage multiplier, so it has a little bit lower damage than normal. Um, let's go and have a little read of the description after this room, actually, to make sure we're not missing anything with those dips there, because that was intriguing to me. Let's go and have a little look, shall we? Um, I don't want to miss anything off of what this character has to offer, because it is quite plentiful. So, let's have a little look-see. Uh, become the Lord of the Dips and Flies with Henry, a new character that revolves around poops and has the um, power to raise an army of filthy friends. In your run, you will find a lot of black natural flies and enemy dips. When you touch them, they turn into blue flies and friendly dips. They can also turn to locusts. When your familiar touch, uh, familiars touch black flies and enemy dips, they also become your friends, dependent on the familiar. Sometimes they get um, the power of that familiar. Sometimes they can turn into the pickup that familiar gives. Ooh, okay. So, we want to be touching the dips and things when we find them. That's good to know. We want to be uh, walking into stuff. And it seems like familiars are um, a particularly good way of uh, doing stuff for this character. And just so happens that we got a familiar right off the bat. So, let's see. If, if you touch this... Okay, so that turned into a normal blue fly. Oh, whoa! The blue fly is firing like Loki. I see. Right, let's let's kill you. That's really, really cool. Right, then we'll kill you separately. I want to try and play around with this poop, and then I can... Do I touch it with the familiar, or do I touch it myself? And then the dip fires as well. Oh my god. Dirty Mind would be insane as this guy. Wowee, this is so cool already. We've only got one synergy so far, and I'm already absolutely in love with this. My god, so I'm guessing familiars are going to have a lot of synergies by the looks of it, but I'm, I'm wondering what, uh, what the other synergies are too, because like I said, 320 synergies are listed um, on the description of this character. Really, they've gone to a lot of effort to make this character as fun as possible with multiple different like various things um i am wondering they said that naturally black flies will spawn we've not seen any naturally spawn yet i don't think oh no no, no. there was one in the previous rooms I, I'm, I'm wondering how common they're gonna be now these don't count these are normal flies i'm pretty sure i think it only works for black flies and dips and we got an extra life there but we also got a bit of poop there i just want to see just can i actually touch him with the familiar or does it does it not matter C come no, it doesn't. Okay, it's just it's just when we touch them, and then they adopt the powers of our familiars. And Loki seems honestly like a fantastic, fantastic familiar to get off the bat as this character. Ooh, hello, we got a corn thingy there. Unfortunately, we got a golden penny that we can't reach. Um, but we got a we got like a corn poop there. That's kind of interesting. Uh, I'll see if I can buy a soul heart here. Unfortunately, not. Damn, that penny is mighty tempting. I really like the way that blue flies also adopt that effect. Ooh, what the hell? We also got um, a bunch of fiery dips here out of somewhere. Oh, this is very cool. We got a bunch of fiery dips because um, it's a burning room, I'm guessing. 
Oh, <laughs> look at this. This is wild. This is absolutely wild. Because the, the dips themselves are doing a good job. It, it, it doesn't seem like all of the dips are docked out effects. It seems like only the normal dip does. But the red ones are still, the fiery ones are still going to be useful, so I do not mind them. That was a bad hit by me, but do not worry. Do not fret. This is really cool. I'm honestly really into this. I was hoping to get a key to open that golden chest, but it's looking like, unless we get latch key here, that isn't going to happen. Ooh, damn. He touched the fire, that, that little ball touched the fiery dip and lit himself up. And we get the booster pack here. Um, we get the emperor... We get the Mephit, bring you fortune. I can't remember what that does now. Strength. We get, uh, ooh, that's pretty good. Really? We got two bombs from that. Spawn four bombs. Okay, so this is pretty good. We got we got a lot of bombs on this, but we could have got a lot more there. And then I can't remember what this does. I think it takes us to a special arcade. No, it does not. Um, And we'll take the strength card here. Um, Is there anything we want to bomb this floor? I don't think so. I think we're pretty good. Actually... There was a, a, a nickel-eyed keeper. So we'll go and uh, check him out. And we'll maybe see if we can find a secret room here as well. Okay. Lucky Call seems to be uh, really wanting us to grab it. So I guess we will. Secret room isn't there. Let's go back over here. Probably just there above this room. Oh, okay. Um, I've gained more dips. And I don't know where from. But. May I point out that one of my dips is wearing a hat. That is a new dip, which I didn't realize was part of this mod, but also a really fucking cool dip. I don't know where I got him from, but I'll, I'll certainly accept him for who he is. Really cool that you can turn things into poop like that. Sadly, another, another thingy that we're getting here. I wonder if luck affects our chance there. Another golden chest that we can't pop open, which is a little bit annoying. I could try for a bonsai key pill, uh, but I'm, I'm not going to go that far. Uh, second secret room, do we have a bead on? Potentially. I want to do my due diligence with this character. Uh, he does start off a little bit weaker, I think, so we want to be uh, taking all the advantages we can get. So I'll try for second secret room here. Didn't get it. And I'll try one more bomb, just because we have quite a few at the end of this corridor as well. And then after that, we'll kind of give up and move down to the next floor. But I'm, I'm, I'm kind of confident... Oh, really? Okay. Okay. It could also be here, I guess. I'll I'll try it. Hey, there you go. Um, and we got one of the Astral Boys. Ooh, very, very happy to see that. I'll take that Soul of Forgotten. And honestly, look, why not Why not play into you? We could get some good stuff. You can get some Wisps, you can get some Lemmageddon Wisps, or you can get some pretty good items. Or you can get Soul Hearts. Didn't, didn't know that was a thing with these guys, but pretty good. We got ourselves something else. I don't know what we got there. Oh, the, yeah, we got ourselves a lemon getting wisp. I see it. We got ourselves the Mercurius, is it? No, not Mercurius. It's the one that lets us run through doors. Another soul heart. Okay, these beggars. These beggars are pretty amazing. I never realized just how good they were. They can give a lot of soul hearts. Right, soul of forgotten we're grabbing in case we find a, a sacrifice room. But let's let's keep this moving, keep this grooving. Honestly, really, really good start here to a run. Um, very much enjoying the prospect of our Henry Poopy Boy. I think I, I really like characters like this, where they, they promote a very alternate style of play. Like, you can play pretty normally here. Um, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Can I walk into this? No, I can't. It's like a friendly. Can you bloody bugger off? Thank you. Okay, so they just act as, like, friendly minds sort of thing. Uh, but, yeah, like, where you can still play pretty normally, but the, the promote a different style of play where we're, like, prioritizing poops and we're prioritizing running into dips and stuff like that. I really like that. It's a little difficult to not accidentally kill the dips that you spawn, though, is what I'm noticing right now. Like, <laughs> I don't know if you saw there, but my wisps just insta-killed that dip. I did not want to do that, but it is exactly what happened. So the wisps might not be a great idea right about now. Okay, no. It works when my poops touch them too. Okay, we've got a bit of safety there then. I see you there, Dominic. Whoa. This is a big boy. Holy sugar tits. That's a valuable 
pepperoni. God damn. Wowee. This was good. We got an additional soul of the forgotten here. Unfortunately, our golden penny kind of ran out pretty quickly, but considering what we just gained out of this, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be too honorary about that. Ooh, and there's you exploding into hearts. I really like the fact that you can get these drops at the end of room. So let my let this guy touch my dips, right? Come come over here, dips. There you go. Okay. And it will actually duplicate into the same type of dip that touched it by the looks of things. Really like yeah. Really don't like these bloody enemies here with the big stupid chasers. Uh, yeah, it's a little hard to not kill the dips sometimes, especially in rooms like that. Ooh, we definitely need a key here. Petrified Poop is actually insanely good as this character. I must certainly take that. Come on, fellas. Absorb. Absorb. There you go. That's so cool. I really like that. And then, same with these guys. <laughs> That's so cool. We got bomb wisps out of it this time. Because it was a fire dip that triggered it, we got a bomb wisp out of it. I re- uh, bomb locust. Really like that. Really like There's some real strategy behind the way you plan out things with this character because of that. I love it. I wonder if these types of poops that aren't technically poops work. I wonder how they uh, they progress. They do work. They do work. Good to know. Unfortunately, I'm, I don't think I'm getting any keys this floor. Right, I can touch this guy myself now. Boom. Give me a regular dip. Yeah, what, where's all my keys at, please? Oh, we got a happy dip, and that gave us a Midas Touch dip as well. Oh, we're getting loads of stuff here. Let's go. We're getting loads of stuff here. Let's do this. I love this. Okay, now we've got a lot of Lokis going on. Yeah, unfortunately, bomb-wise, we ain't doing so hot here. Uh, bomb-wise, key-wise, sorry, because this is this is a little bit, a little bit unfortunate. Uh, I'm trying to look for where our bombable locations could be. I'm hoping for access to the cash room here with our, our secret room. So let's try that out. Balls. Um. This this looks very inviting. Hmm. Brain hurt. I'm not quite sure where secret room is this floor. I guess I'm just gonna have to pass. It gives us planetarium chance at least, but I was really hoping to go to our shop and item room this floor for extra synergies, but the game said no. Yeah, we have a, a crazy amount of Loki shots going on right now. I wonder if we can play the Midas Touch guy to get a bit more uh, Midas Touch fellas in the future. We can make him touch stuff. Oh, dude, he dropped poops. I was not expecting this. He dropped a bunch of poops. We got the um, machine, spawn one random capsule, then every five coins spawn another capsule, removes five coins, will only spawn... That's actually pretty good, we'll go for that. We've got all the coins right now, it's going to take a ton of them, but this is good stats. Nice. We got a heart container, we got um, a luck upgrade, we got a few range upgrades, we got a lot of shot speed. Shot speed is so common with this thing. I mean, shot speed's not a bad thing to get, it's just a little annoying to spend... 5 cent on a shot speed upgrade. I probably wouldn't normally do that, so. But it is what it is. But we did get a good amount of uh, health here for a devil deal, so we'll definitely check this out. Um, I think we we definitely want Goat Head. I'll also take the Hungry Ghost here. I don't know if I don't know like if there's any indication of which ones will have synergies and which ones won't. But either way, anyways, let's keep moving on. Uh, really, really happy with how this run's going so far. I'm just so glad that we got little Loki right off the bat, so we've got like a cool synergy to show off. For the basically entirety of this run. Um, we've got loads of little Loki shots. But I'm hoping we get more familiars coming up in the future here. Um, I hope we get a few more here and there. Look at this. This is just absolute carnage. And I'm so down for it. Oh, we got shampoos. Um, 
Let's try and actually walk into this guy. Oh, this one gave us a curse dip. I like it. The good thing is as well, the dips kind of do their own thing. Like they're, they're not they're not like plots where they're like tied to you. They kind of like make their own way around the room and stuff. So we're getting a good like a, a good coverage of everything. I like the fact that different types of poops can spawn here. Oh, we got a holy poop there too. Really cool. Um, this will work, right? I think. Yeah. Oh, I was hoping it'd bomb this too. It didn't. It's fine. We'll, we'll leave that for now. We have a key now, finally, which is something I uh, am very happy to see. This is such a wild character. Th this this character just has a lot of potential for fun. I feel like runs are going to be so different and varied when playing as this character. Uh, we don't have a bomb for this yet, but I thought I'd pop it regardless, which is maybe a bad idea because I might not even get a bomb for it, but hey her. Here's what it is. Oh, we got a red poop there. Intriguing. I really like the fact that the blue flies also um, trigger your familiar's effect because th that could be like absolutely ludicrous with Guppy, right? That could be like insane. <laughs> I love that. Just turning an enemy into a poop instantly sometimes. Okay, can you guys move to a little bit more of an agreeable spot where I can kill you, please? I feel like Loki's like one of the most perfect familiars to get with the setup. Just because it has such abilities to, to cover the entire room in tears. What an annoying room. <laughs> Those guys just would not move. Oh, we got a miser heart here. You don't see them very often. I believe miser hearts, while we hold them, make a shop cheaper. And here's our planetarium. Beautiful. And we got soul, which honestly is one of the lower tier ones. Put it on it. It's also not terrible. It's it's one of those ones that I feel like every time you get, you're kind of like, oh, I wish I'd have gotten a different one. But at the same time, it, it does it does a not bad job. <laughs> I do feel like our luck is affecting our chance to turn things into poop, you know. I feel like it's happening a little more regularly, regularly now that we have two luck. But two isn't a lot, of course, but seems seems, seems to be enough. Ooh, lazy tears coming towards us. Get out of here, boy. I just wish there was a little bit of protection on the dips so I didn't accidentally kill them all the time. But I suppose that is like sort of the, the never running battle with this character. Yeah, so we do get things a bit cheaper because we've got a miser heart here. This is another familiar, so I'm definitely going to grab that. Um... I'm pretty sure this is... By the way, the, the descriptions aren't working because I had to disable something in Ipecac to stop a, a, a negative mod interaction. Um, I'll take the potato. Why not? I'm pretty sure it's like charging at active whenever um, whenever we use a card or something. We don't have a, a, a card or anything yet, but we could do in, in the future. Oh, what the hell? Oh, shit. For some reason, I thought that was one of my familiars. It was most certainly not. Oh, this is an XL flaw. I didn't realize. I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna do the boss fight now, so we get Soul to trigger. I wonder if it triggers off of each, or if we have to kill both. I've never actually messed around with Soul on an XL flaw before. Some dips are definitely gonna die here because this guy fires a lot of shots. We got a red poop there, but that gave us this. We lost our miser heart, unfortunately. Bit of a risk, but I'll take it. And soul didn't trigger. We did lose damage, but we gained fire rate. We also lost some health. We gained luck, which could be really good. Oh, so the poops spawn on bosses when you hit them regardless, I see. Yeah, when I hit them with those shots, it just spawns the poops. I don't have to kill enemies with it for it to spawn the poops. That's really good to know. Considering our damage itself isn't really a big thing, it's not... A big issue to lose damage. Also, the dips we spawn can spawn the ghosts. That's also really good to know. We'll take Jesus Juice here. We shall check this out. Ooh. These are familiars, uh, so I think we should take them, because I don't know if they'll work with, but either way, it's a good damage up. But they might end up working alongside um, our new collection of dips, potentially. 
Got both our item rooms here. Very nice. And we do have a mini boss that I'll probably go back and fight as well. Also, the more shots we're firing, the higher chance we have of getting more poops out there. Beautiful. Fruitcake. Absolutely god tier item. Love it. Got a black dip there. It's so cool that it, like, adopts from the thing that touches it. We also got Slippery Tooth, which is really good too. Yeah, I really like the fact that it adopts from the thing that touches it. So you can create, like, an army of one specific type if you're able to sort of orchestrate it correctly. I really like that. And that's a really, really cool way of doing it. Right, let's go back and get the secret room real quick. And we'll, we'll go back and fight whatever mini boss that might be. Hanged men. I'll at least see. Oh, they're, they're all just hanged men, aren't they? You tricked me, game. You tricked me. Unfortunately, our miser heart isn't going to stick around for the next floor, but we got good value out of it. We got two items cheaper than we should have got them. Oh, wait. I forgot that we had uh, this room that we never actually completed. Considering it's a triple stone chest, I think we definitely should. Unfortunately, I don't think any of this is really worth taking. Actually, the D12 is that is pretty good. Why, why not take the D12? I didn't realize we didn't have an active. I'm a little bit trapped where I am right now. Fruitcake is going to be hugely, hugely important for our DPS here as well. Although it may, it may mess with certain things. We'll see. It may mess with the ability to turn things into poop quite as easily as we used to. Oh, dude, I am taking some bad damage right now. Don't fret about it too much. Dip. Yay, we got you. We got you. I want to see some regular dips to see how they fire now. See if twist Twisted Pear had any impact. Ooh, wait, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. Let me just... Let me just... Fruitcake affects our dips. Holy shit. <laughs> Quite literally. Fruitcake is, is working on all of our dips here. They're all firing fruitcake tears. Okay, I'm glad I came here because there is a lot of real estate for us right, right here. And we got a soul heart out of it too, which I'm pretty happy about. Oh, what the hell? I don't know where he came from, but thank you, I guess. Right. Skedaddle Skedoodle. Ooh. Something I didn't think about. The D12 is actually way, way better than I first assumed it to be. Because now we have a way to... Oh, I gained a broken heart there. That's fine. Um, now we have a way to generate more poops. If we find a room with a lot of rocks, which I haven't seen as of yet. I'm going to try and look for one. Um, we can create poops, essentially. Let's find a good room for it. One with more than like just a handful of rocks like this. And a good portion of these will turn into poops. This is, this is good. We have some good synergies going on right now. Some really good synergies indeed. I really like the fact that Fruitcake is working for us in a way that I didn't expect. I mean, I should have known considering this uh, mod just adds so many synergies. I should have suspected something similar, but it's good to confirm it. I did give us a locust, nice. Right, let's keep it moving. Right. We've also got a lot of locusts here that are working in our favor. Um, I don't think I want to open that yet. I'd rather keep my key. Let's try and do the soul um, thing first. Get our, get our mapping and stuff. God, yeah, this is this is pretty brilliant. This build we have going on. Fruitcake has really turned this run on its head and made us quite the strong boy.
And the more stuff we have as well, the easier it is to to turn other things into um, into dip, uh, into our dips because there's more contact area sort of. There's more of our things to touch them. Oh my god, I'm having a hard time with all the fires and stuff. Um, I don't think we're going to buy any of those. Even though the little scanner is a familiar, I doubt it will work the way I'm intending it to. I don't think it'll have a synergy is what I'm saying, because I don't know if Ipecac is a supported mod right now. Hopefully it will be one day, because just hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. If Ipecac gets support, if it doesn't already, let me just check. I'm pretty sure it doesn't already have support. Um... It doesn't currently have support, but if Ipecac gets mod support, there is a turtle baby familiar. Can you imagine? The, tur the turtle melon dip. Coming soon to this mod. No, I'm joking. It might not, but it would be really cool if it did. <laughs> uh, if that happened, I would add this mod to my series 1000%. <laughs> it would happen. There is no doubt about it, it would happen. Liking all the extra money we're getting here. Golden Penny randomly spawning. Can't complain about that. I'll come back for it though. Let's let's do this first. We got the luncheon boy. Ooh, the explosive a little poop shot there. That was pretty funny. I turned a segment of this guy into poop. My god, this is just, just craziness. <laughs> the fact that you can turn segments into poop is kind of crazy. I love that. Come on. Chuck him up. Good, good. We get our mapping. Soapbox is potentially useful, but not, not guaranteed to be. Red poops always spawn locusts. That's really nice to know. We need to go deeper. Pretty good. The dagger also pretty good. Oh, did not mean to trigger the, this guy, but we're fighting him now. Look at the amount of poop. The petrified poop pickup. It was so good. I would like to grab that key piece, but it's it's costly. Um, we do have goat head. Let's give it a go. Why not? Devil key piece one. We can go dark path and try and take the devil path. But yeah, now we have the full mapping that we need. Soul again, pretty good for that if you can uh, locate the boss pretty quickly. Oh my God, there's a lot going on in this room. There's a sack room, finally. We can actually use this soul of the Forgotten that I've been hanging on to. Having real trouble killing this guy. Come on, dude. Just die. Give me that dip. Thank you. He's mine now. Cool glasses. I'm actually going to re-roll cool glasses. I like cool glasses, but I'll be honest. I find it a little difficult to, to always have to grab the money every single room. Sometimes I just don't want to. So I'm just going to take a pass on that. Right, head back over this way. Use that solo forgotten. I like this a lot. Right, see what's in here. Hopefully an item. No item. Still some decent stuff there though. Wait, is there a Henry mini? Damn! <laughs> no, I wouldn't have expected that. That'd be a l that'd be a lot if there was an extra mini for him as well. 
Hey, that's what we like to see. This is what we like to see. Oh my goodness, yes. Ow. Beautiful, we've got a nice little army going here. So the forgotten. Iframes makes this a little tedious, but we'll get it done. We got the teleport. Unfortunately, it's a devil teleport, not an angel teleport. And we'll do this as well. Hey, hello, Alexa. You have joined the fight. Hey, we got conjoined as well. Alexa needs a synergy too. <laughs> Alexa was saying um, that he recently got my character <laughs> in uh, My Turtle Baby in a video of his. He was like, it's good to do a video with you again, buddy. I was like, <laughs> I make that joke every time as well. <laughs> right, let's move forward. One of my dips died there. I'm not quite sure what to, but you will be sorely missed. Right, we are good to go. We don't really need to do the Golden Penny much more, but I guess we'll try and take it up to 99 cent, because why not? There you go. Right, down we go. This is feeling like a pretty good run. It's unfortunate the Cloak Baby won't have any synergy for now, but all in good time. And we don't want to head straight for the boss this time around, because um, heading straight for the boss wouldn't really work for us. Oh, wait, what? Uh, converts. Red poop into regular poop. Ah, oh, that's actually not a good thing for this character. At first, I was like, whoa, this could be really cool. And I was like, actually. Actually, wait a minute. Look at that giant turd shot. Just hovering ominously. We got the Mario hat, which is a one-up pretty soon. Guess we'll grab it. Once we grab one more penny, it'll uh, give us a one-up. So we do have to be careful if we don't want that one-up yet. Doesn't matter though. I took it. I did it. We got ourselves a one-up. It's quite nice. Chili bean. No thank you. Now I do wonder how the how the D20 works with these... Um, these Mario blocks. They can out. I'll open this up, why not? Sometimes these can, these can pay out big. Pretty much gave me back exactly what I put into it. And a look penny, actually, okay. Pretty happy about that. Um, sculpting clay. Makes a copy of the closest non-active item Hmm, interesting. Damn, if this this item, if this worked for dips, we'd be in the money right now. Let's see. Now it didn't. It doesn't seem to work. That'd be a cool addition to that item, the ability to reroll into them. Okay. Right. Back we go. Bap, bap, bap. Give me those dips. We got quite a lot of dips here. I really like uh, dip runs, like when we get the soiled hearts and stuff like that. I really like them. I think they're really fun. So having a run, having a character, sorry, that's, that's based on that ability is really cool. I'm not sure how many times we've seen um, we've seen the the little battery baby proc yet, but I think I have seen a few batteries here and there that we wouldn't have seen otherwise. Because it said it can turn enemies into, or turn dips into the, the thing that your uh, familiar gives. Beautiful stuff. Crack this bad boy open. Got a key back out of it. I like that. By the way, 
there's, I don't know if anyone else experiences this, but I feel like locusts are like a really, really, really big source of lag. When you have like a good amount of locusts, the game just can't handle it. Does anyone else have that? And if, if, if so, is there any fix for that? Probably not, right? But I thought I'd ask anyways. I love fruitcake for just all the, the rocks we're randomly accidentally destroying. Beautiful. I like the way our locusts home in on the dips as well and create more um, more dips and locusts out of that. And that's pretty cool. Beautiful, lovely. Yeah, this is this this character is immensely fun so far, and this is only like one of the synergies. I mean, I think I got lucky in the fact that I got Loki and fruit um, fruitcake on my first run. I think those two are pretty huge gets. But even still, I think this character has a lot of potential. Also, we're up to six luck, which is pretty insane for um, for the amount of poop shots we're gonna be firing. I, like I said, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but it feels like it does scale with luck. I feel like I am getting a lot more of them. Conjoined is also helping too. Conjoined plus twisted pair actually, so. What the hell? I got hit loads then, I have no idea by what. Oh, there's a spider like right on me, that's why. We'll try for this. A theme is insane, and eh, I'll do this. I'll do this. Did we just fire a rainbow poop shot. That was pretty cool. The amount of poops we generate is just amazing. This is a gamble and a half, but I'm taking it. Just because we have um, extra lives. We have two extra lives right now, so... I thought, why the hell not? And now we've got our key made up. We can actually use it. We've got a theme. A theme with six luck. Just imagine. I wonder if a theme has a synergy. That would be pretty wicked if it did somehow. I don't know what it would be, but... The theme is insane. It's one of the best devil items in the game now. There you go, there's a, there's a trigger in there. And it could chain react as well, which is really the big thing that makes it so crazy. What's left? Oh, there's a nerve ending all the way up here. Beautiful. I should really pick up the money so I can get more 1-ups, to be honest. I feel like that's pretty important for me right now. Hey, black art there's super good. Good thing with Soul, we know exactly where the boss room is. We can just head straight towards it. Straight towards... There's a bunch of extra money. Lovely. I say straight towards... Oh, we can heal our uh, Broken Heart there. Nice. Pretty rare that Patched Hearts actually come in clutch like that, but it can happen from time to time. That's why I like Patched Hearts. They, they seem overpowered when you think about them, but the actual chance of you being in a room where you have Broken Hearts and it showing up... Oh, what the hell? Spawns a pump... What? Where did I get this from? Spawns a pump um, in front of you that deals Isaac's damage when enemies... When an enemy is damaged by the pump, it has a chance to spawn... Ooh. Okay, this is... This is a passive item. I thought it was an active. What the hell? This is interesting. <laughs> was not expecting this. What? How the hell do I get to the boss room? I got absolutely jabated by the boss room there.
He got another one up. Good, good, good. Pump's going to do some good for us, I guess. I should be using the D12 more often, to be honest. We've got a bunch of flies now as well because of the oh crap transformation, I think. I love it. This is just carnage. Absolute beautiful carnage. So much money from those blocks. We're already up to 29 again. Hello, boss man. Skolex. More like Skull. No, you didn't. Oh my god, the amount of poops that just spawned. Our dips are just passively generating now, pretty much. Taunt photo, rather nice. I'll check the Devil League because I have extra lives, but... Okay, this is kind of what I was hoping for. Ooh, hello. Pretty cool. A lump of coal, which is actually pretty awesome for us right now. And Empty Vessel, which is actually completely free. It literally costs us the same health, amount of health that we actually have. Um, and gives us random invincibility and flight. Very, very, very positive pick up there. Right, let's be on our way. This is such a fun run for such a fun character. I'm really, really enjoying myself today. Especially for the first character showcase we're having back in a while. It's really nice to see. Oh my god. It's just crazy. The amount of destruction. I think the conjoint really spiked the amount of craziness that um, is available to us with this run. I wonder what his birthright does. It did say on his page. I probably sh should have read that off earlier. That'd be an interesting find. I I'm really intrigued by how this uh, this this plunger thing showed up. I wonder if that's just like a random rare chance as this character or what. I'm pretty happy with it, I'll be honest. I don't I don't exactly know how helpful it's being right now, but I can't imagine it's negative for us, so definitely happy to see it. I'm a little worried about my current HP, but with the amount of damage we're able to output right now, I don't think it's a worry that I need to be thinking about for much longer. Ooh, a doubled soul heart there, lovely. Okay, now I'm not so worried. Now I'm a lot less worried. Keep that plunger near the enemies so it can do some stuff. We still have an absolute army with us right now. We're able to open all these doors pretty easily here. We got a spin down shard here. I'll definitely take that. Spin down shard seems like it could be insanely good. I'm glad that Fiend Folio was brought into the mix with this, with all the new dips it adds and stuff. Bad hit there, but don't worry about it. No bombs left, unfortunately. So many ways to gain extra money, but no bombs to do it with. There's probably some bombs that I've left behind. We're not that desperate for them. Here's a bomb. Look at that amount of money. It's crazy for one bomb, that. Almost got another one up. Damn it. I tried to actually utilize the holy poop there. Wasn't happening though, was it? This is such a crazy run. I love it. I love it. I imagine adoption papers with this guy. God damn. That'd be pretty good. Fun guy transformation, because we got another one up. We'll check this last devil deal here. I'll definitely take the mark here. Pretty happy with that. And we will head down, down, down. Beautiful stuff. This this is coming together very nicely. And we do have the uh, we do have the key pieces too from the new mod. Oh, we got another toilet pump, a second one. We can spin it down into another version of the starting item, which is kind of interesting to see. Um, I think I just take it though. Toilet pump number two. I don't know if having multiple of them does anything for us, but thank you. It's intriguing nonetheless, at least. 
We do have quite the army right now. Got a lot of dips that aren't really dying. I think it's just because, like I said, our luck's quite high. We're firing a lot of shots. We're just generating a lot of poop. Which means we're generating a lot more dips. We got this boss guy. Boss guy's really annoying because he has just a ton of invincibility. I'm just going to accept the damage I take from him and power through. It is what it is. Dad's wallet. Ooh, we can glass spin it down into the imp soda, which is very strong for us with this amount of luck. Because that's a lot of crits coming our way, so pretty happy with that. Unfortunately, again, absolutely jabated by the boss room. Come on, Alexa. We're going to make our way. Yeah, the crits. The crits that we're outputting right now. Quite mad. Oh my god, I am taking some bad damage. But we just found Magic Mush out of nowhere, so... That's pretty damn awesome. It's kind of crazy that like such strong enemies can be insta-killed by um, turning them into a poop. Oh, dude, you survived. What the heck? I'm a little worried about my HP, but with three one-ups, I'm not that bothered. Again, turn both of those guys into poops, too. Is that a crawl space there? Oh, yeah, it is. What the hell? Minecrafter, lovely. And a black sack with no hearts in it. Ugh. That was a little bit of a waste of time. That was a cool, a cool um crawl space though. I really like the way they play with gravity in the crawl spaces. Something you can't normally play around with in this game too much. It's nice. Right. How are you, my you big shithead? Even though this mod changes the, the boom fly things, the boom leeches, I still always drop that bomb at the start because it's just habit. <sighs> this is just beautiful. It's just beautiful chaos. Black heart there, lovely. Now, with our one-ups, are we going to take some devil deals here? It really depends on what it gives us. Familiars I want to take, especially. Um, like, Little Delirium there, we'll take him. Um, don't think anything else means much to us. Ooh, I like the bloodied doorway there. Right, let's try and complete some of this, considering we have so much luck. We should go and beat out some of the rooms to get some more items. Ooh, we got a glitched heart here. Give us a rotten heart. Bomber boy, not that good for us. But it is more bombs. We could give us more one-ups if we find more rocks and stuff. Although I'm guessing there won't be a ton of that on this floor. I like this as well because it like... Our dips have still, even though we're so powerful with just us without the dips, our dips have still been very pivotal to our power. They're still doing a lot of a lot for us, especially considering the adopt our tier effects. Look at all this. Look at all this. It's just craziness. Really liking having the imp soda. I'm glad I got to spin that down. Come on, so give us some more... Oh, really? I got hit by something there? Give us some more items. Really? Where's all my chests at? I have six. Look, I thought I'd be getting more chests than this. For a minute, we're getting very few. That was a lot of poops. 
Also a lot of money. Eden's Blessing, good for the next run. Where did you come from? A card out of that for some somehow. Hermit, I don't think Hermit does anything for us in this floor. Everything is dead now. We found a secret room too, and eternal heart. Nice, nice. Right, kill the lamb, why not? He's gonna go down pretty darn fast, I would say. Especially with the Thame doing its thing as well. I don't know what's triggering from a Thame. I think it's my dips die. It, tr it can trigger a Thame, which is pretty strong. I think that's like part of the synergy. So I was saying, did it have synergy? Theme two. What are all these? What are all these crosses and stuff? I don't know what all these little crosses. Like, look at the little cross. What the heck is this? I don't know what they are, but I'll take them. It's intriguing. Maybe they give me dips that I, I wasn't noticing. I'm really not sure. There's certainly more money to be had. We can probably get another one up before we fight the uh, before we fight the boss. Especially when this much money is spawning. God damn. Yeah, I don't know what all these little little upside down crosses and stuff and 666s are for. It's pretty cool, but they confuse me. Where is that big earth anyways? There he is. Which took a bit of time to... He's a bit shy. Took a bit of time to show his face. There's another six look. Gimme. Strange times. They make, they make like a specific noise, but they don't seem to visually do anything. Right, one more penny. There you go. There's another life for us. I think we should go now. Now we've got all these one-ups and stuff. Let's do it. See how this goes. We've not got a lot of health to work with here, so this is going to be a bit risky. I can't remember if the one-up spawns is in the fight or not. A lot of crits coming out. A lot of crits coming out. A theme going crazy. So many of these upside down crosses spawning about. If anyone knows what they're from, they might be from this mod, but I don't think they are. I don't think they're from the Henry mod. I think they're from some sort of item that's triggering. But I might be wrong. Game's not handling this too well. It spawned quite a lot. I tried it. I tried to get that um that soul heart there. It was a bad idea. It's it's somewhere around here. I've seen it hovering about. There it is, there it is. I'm gonna go get it. We got it. What the hell? We spawned some, um, demon... What? Where's all these demon beggars coming from? What the hell's going on? <laughs> this is so ultimately confusing. Staying inside the Holy Dip's aura gives me a 50% chance to negate damage, but more importantly, a lot of damage myself. Fire it, herming, all that good stuff. <clears throat> this fight is uh, really going to shit, quite literally. Bomber Boy with those flies is doing a ton of damage as well. I need to make sure I don't accidentally walk into these... Um, 
these demon beggars. There's quite a few of them about. Beautiful. Okay. Last bit of the fight now. There's also some red poops that I could easily walk into as well if I'm not careful. We do have a few holy dips about the uh, empty vessel giving us inv invincibility here and there. It's nice too. The frame rate is just going to have to be at 12 for now. It's, it's at 12. 12 is where it sits. Your soul heart there, gimme. Thank you. What on earth is going on right now? Are all these things triggering like mini devil deals? Because there's a there's a fiend item here that I I'm unsure where it resides, but it it, it came out of nowhere. Maybe all these things trigger mini devil deals. I honestly don't know, but happy to have them on board, I guess. Delirious meat boy there. I don't know if we can make it through this last bit of the fight, but honestly, our health is looking significantly better than it was, so I'm hoping so. And the fact that a th we have a way of triggering a theme. I'm going to pick up all these devil deals and see what happens. Things are happening. Good or bad, I do not know. I'm just running through sort of the middle of everything. This feels like a deleted run. <laughs> it must be something to do with my familiars. Maybe it's a little delirium that's doing it. Do you know what? Actually, it would make a lot of sense that it's a little delirium. Some of its different forms are triggering certain things. Henry! We There's a Henry! There's a real Henry! How are you doing, sir? Well, where did you come from? I do not know. My brethren. Yeah, I feel like Little Delirium is probably causing this chaos. Which makes Little Delirium a lot better. Because I'm guessing he can trigger all the effects of all the familiars he can turn into. The real number magnet's there as well, look. This has been chaotic hilarity. I loved this. This was so much fun. I hope you guys did enjoy. This was a lot of fun. And yeah, uh, before I die, let me get in that chest. And I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed Henry. Please go and check him out in the Steam Workshop.